Aloha! Welcome to 808 Deaf News. My news report is about a hit and run that happened last Wednesday. Two teenage girls, both high school students, in the early morning were walking to McKinley High School. The two were crossing the street when a car hit them and then fled the scene. They were both injured. One girl is in good condition. The second girl, Sarah Yara, age 16, has passed away. The family is grieving. Sarah was always full of love, light, and life to all those around her, friends and family. Sarah has a twin sister as well, who is also heartbroken by this. The family needs closure to be able to move forward. The hit and run driver needs to turn himself in, admit what he did so the family can turn their grief into peace. Police are in search of the suspect. Surveillance cameras show the suspect was speeding. The vehicle is a silver truck. Police are urging the public to be vigilant on the roads and watch out for others while driving and follow the laws. Law enforcement stated that this is the seventh traffic fatality so far this year. The next day, the driver did turn himself in. His name is Mitchell Yoshigi Miyashiro, age 45. He was arrested and now in jail for first degree negligent homicide. On Thursday morning, Sarah's mother and family visited the crash scene. While there, they pondered on and grieved for what transpired there. The family is relieved. Yes, the driver took her away from us, but we need to turn our focus from grief and pain and loss to moving forward in peace. The mother is asking for stronger pedestrian measures. She is asking for traffic monitors to be installed at student crossing areas. Next in the news is a special request announcement from the statewide voters with special needs advisory committee. They sent out a survey last November to gather data about the voting process. So far, they have received 59 responses, which is great. However, their goal is 100. If you haven't yet responded to the survey, click on the link to access it. The data collected will help them know how the voting process needs to improve. The goal and hope is to have a total of 100 responses by February 25th. If you haven't yet responded, go ahead and take the survey while there still is time. Next part of the news is regarding a 30-year-old man who assaulted a police officer and stole his police vehicle and fled. After a two-hour police chase, he was finally caught. This incident happened last week. It started in Laie and ended at Iolani Palace. The suspect's name is Hoku O Kalani Patak Jr. He has been arrested for first degree attempted murder of a police officer, auto theft, and resisting arrest. Police Chief Logan explains what happened. The police officer who was hurt is 
Nakia Newton. He is assigned to the Kaneohe area and has 16 years of service. He responded to a report of a dangerous driver out in Lot Ye. He pulled the driver over, walked over to the car, and was attacked in the head with a crowbar or something similar. The injured police officer fell down. EMS responded and administering advanced life support to the officer. He is alert and in stable condition and has been able to talk to his family. While the officer was down, the suspect took the police car and fled. A witness caught dash cam video of the officer's unmarked SUV with its blue light driving around. The officers chased the suspect for a long two hours then finally arrested him in the Iolani Palace area. This malicious attack is yet another example of criminals feeling the need to assault our officers so they can keep committing crimes. Please follow the laws. Investigation is ongoing to figure out what exactly happened. Aloha! We are thrilled to inform you about this huge event. The Aloha State Association of the Deaf, ASAD, is hosting a luau buffet and Hawaiian show. This event will be held at the Artistry Honolulu on March 9th from 4.30 to 10 p.m. Artistry Honolulu is beautiful inside. I was blown away at how beautiful it is. Right when you walk inside, you will see to your right a conference room. That is where the buffet will be. To your left is a wide open space that is really deaf friendly. It includes a VIP lounge on the right. The bar is in the middle and a huge stage to the left of the bar. The whole area is amazing. Even better is the fact that there are TVs in all the rooms. When someone is on stage, you can sit and watch on the TV screen. If you need to grab something, you won't miss a thing because the TV's right there. You can sit and eat while watching the performance. TV screens at the bar so you don't miss out on anything as well. You can go to the VIP lounge and talk with others and still watch the performance. Up to you where you want to see it. As you know, parking is really hard to find. The good news is, ASAD will provide valet parking at no charge to you. However, I encourage you to please tip your valet. Thank you. The cost of this event is $40, cash only, at the door. Thank you. See you there on the evening of March 9th. Aloha!